What's up, YTPC? This is DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. And today, I am doing a tobacco review on Cornell and Deal's Pirate Cake. Cornell and Deal's Pirate Cake is a full bodied, well, it's uber full bodied, full flavored, um, heavy, heavy lot of Kia blend. It's got 75% Latakia, which is the same content as 10 Russians. But unlike 10 Russians, this has Burley and Turkish as its additional components to the tobacco. It comes in the same kind of cake form, and really, um, throughout the review, you'll notice some similarities between this blend and 10 Russians. And at the end of the review, I will be... Um, I'll make some notes about those differences but I figured since I happen to have found the tin I didn't throw it away let's read the description because I like the way Cornell and Deal did their description it's only two sentences long it's very easy to understand and it tells you what the tobacco is or what the blend is says on the back of the tin, a smooth, robust blend with lots, 75%, of exceptional Latakia, accompanied by Turkish and Burley. Pressed in an old-fashioned cake, this is a Latakia lover's treasure. Like I said, very simple, very to the point, and it really tells you exactly what you're getting yourself into. Um... The other thing I like about this is how simple yet attractive the tin art is. Let me just... I don't, I don't think it'll adjust. Maybe it will. But yeah. Nice tin art. Simple. Effective. Catches the eye. With the tin out of the way, let's get right into the tobacco itself. Let me open this get an aroma out of it very smoky very very smoky pretty much all you get is the smoky uh, incense lot of Kia scent to it that you would expect out of a blend that's mostly comprised of lot of Kia and here is the crumble cake that it comes in it's very dark but it's a little bit lighter than 10 Russians I think um, that would make sense since you've got Burley and Turkish in there. Excuse me. And it has a little bit of flex to it. But, like I said, it's very similar to 10 Russians. That's understandable. They're both, you know, heavy English blends that are pressed into cakes and they're both blended by the same company. So you're going to see some similarities there. As far as smoking characteristics go and the smoking mechanics of the blend. With the moisture content, the blend starts out absolutely perfectly. As soon as you start cutting into it, when you first get it out of the tin, it's dry but it's not... It's not super dry. It's not haunted bookshop dry, let's put it like that. Um, perfect right out of the tin. As you progress towards the center of the cake, though, what I have noticed is it gets a little bit wetter towards the center, so the cake appears to be holding in moisture. Let it dry out for about 15-20 minutes, and it'll be just fine. Um, but once you get it to the right moisture content, it packs fairly well, lights fairly easily. You will need to relight this blend as you progress down, and it does produce a fairly thick ash at the halfway point. Um, pipe tool will be necessary to dump out the ash, but like I said, it relights fairly easily, even once you get the ash removed. It also produces a very uh, thick chewy smoke but it has a smoothness to it it will get a little bit harsh towards the bottom 
and it produces a little bit of moisture towards the bottom too, so make sure you've got some pipe cleaners when you're smoking this blend. Other than that, nicotine isn't really noticeable too much. You really have to um, go out of your way to make sure that you get whatever nicotine is in this blend. At least I would have to. You know, if I'm going to... What I pulled the most amount of nicotine out of this blend, it was smoking this blend on an empty stomach with a big pipe. Um, no tongue bite. And the other thing I noticed too... It tolerates heat a little bit better. I'm not sure why, but it just, it seems to hold up its smoky characteristics and the complexity of the blend. Um, even if you smoke it at a slightly faster pace than, you know, what would normally be recommended for smoking a lot of Kia mixture. Um, but like I said, no tongue bite, so even if you did want to haul on it, you should be able to do that comfortably. Just like 10 Russians, this likes a large bowl. It likes the shorter, wider bowls, so your 320s, um, your pot shapes, your princes, things along those lines. That's what this blend seems to like. Getting into everyone's favorite portion of the review is the flavor profile of the tobacco. So, from the false light and the true light, what you get right up front is an intense smokiness and a little bit of woodiness. Once you get through the true light, and once you get into the blend, from that point on, what happens is, on the draw and through the retrohale, heavy smokiness, but it's, it's good. If you love a lot of Kia, you'll love this blend, but that's what you get. You get a lot of that lot of Kia on the draw and the retrohale. Um, through the finish, once you blow out the smoke, and that finish taste that you get, what's left on your palate, that's where the additional complexity in this blend comes from. And pretty much after the true light, I got a sweetness to it. A mild spiciness to it, and kind of an interesting, uh, the best way I can describe it is an herbal or a floral taste to it. Um, yeah, like I said, that's the best way I can describe it. It's not the same kind of floral notes that you would get from, say, 965's uh, Oriental blend, or Oriental tobaccos that that blend has in it. It's a little bit different, and the best way I can describe it is it's kind of an, a floral, herbal kind of taste. It's not overpowering. I think, I mean, pretty much the lot of Kia dominates, obviously, but out of the flavors in the background, I think the sweetness dominates the most, followed by the mild spiciness, and then this sort of floral, herbal taste that you get that's way in the background, and you have to look for it, but it's there. And then, like I said, it's like that as soon as you get into the bowl and right all the way down to the finish, and then from there it gets a little bit harsh. The lot of Kia loses itself a little bit. Um, but I tend not to smoke my pipes all the way down to the bottom, or at least I try not to. But Bottom line is, Pirate Cake is an awesome blend. I love it. I love Latakia, and this does not disappoint. I don't think it's a, as good as 10 Russians, but it's just a half a step behind as far as that's concerned. Um, it's right up there, and, you know, if other people like Pirate Cake more than they like 10 Russians... I can see why, and, you know, I would I would agree on their points why they would like it more. Um, if you like more complexity to your smoke, and you're a lot of Kia flan, 10 Russians is going to be a better smoke for you. If you like less complexity, you like that heavy lot of Kia, but you also want something else to it, 
a little something else to it in this case, Pirate Cake's going to be the better blend. Uh, with that being said, this has been DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. You guys have a good day.